Hello everybody and welcome back to Tech by Pike. Today we're looking at some Steel Series stuff. The first thing on board is the Rival 5 gaming mouse. And the second thing is the Steel Series Quick Prism gaming mouse pad. This thing has some interesting background RGB lights. I'm excited to check it out. And with both things today, they are Destiny Edition. So, let's get into it. All right, the first thing we're gonna look at today is the Steel Series Quick Prism Destiny Edition. It is roughly 35 and a half inches long by about 11 to 12 inches wide. That's 900 by 300 millimeters. All right, micro woven cloth, non-slip. Let's see, so we have the wires right at the top and kind of just fold it in here nicely wow this is for the destiny 2 i guess you get a in-game emote when you buy the uh Bad boy here. Wow, this thing is actually beautiful. I love the logo on it. If we look right here, you have the uh, three classes. So that's pretty cool. How that down there. Over here, we have your plug-in for the RGB lights. That's gonna go around the backdrop of it. And then your plug-in right here, which is just a USB. So, that is pretty awesome looking. I really like the design of it. I know how it looks like that they obviously wanted the silver to match everything else on here. But it just doesn't stand out that much. Might have been cool if they made the silver maybe a little darker. But still, I really like it. Let's go ahead and crack open this mouse. Alright, here is the Steel Series Destiny Rival 5 mouse. Uh, Destiny in game mode included. How exciting. Wow, that is a really cool looking mouse. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. little bit of texture on it but not a lot it's not a hundred percent smooth it has that a uh, little bit of rough plastic texture which actually isn't bad I think I like it better than just straight smooth rivals 5 welcome booklet and here is the Destiny 2 emote. And here is the mouse. Nice braided cord. Gray. This thing has nine customizable buttons. Five on the left side and then your two top. DPI setting your wheel. We have that button there and those three. I'm interested to see how they feel when actually gaming. I mean, they feel really nice just off the bat here, holding it. Your thumb fits pretty nicely and you can use the tip of your thumb to hit that button right there at the end. It's not bad. It is wired, not wireless. 
Looks like we have the all the little logos of everything right there. Could be the Vanguard symbol as well. Pretty cool. I really like the design of it, but I feel like the emblems that they keep showing off are a little bit hidden. But it's not bad. We're going to have some RGB lights here and here. Plug those in and check it out. Here is the Steel Series mouse and gaming pad plugged in. Here are the RGB lights on this bad boy. I personally think it looks really good. I really like the colors. I really like the stripes down the side that light up. The glow underneath the wheel. I think this mouse is actually uh, pretty awesome looking. Then we have the mouse pad here. You have the RGB light going all the way around it. I think it looks pretty good. Here is the mouse and gaming surface on Amazon so that you can see exactly which products were shown in this video so you can find them better. I want to apologize real fast for the shakiness of that previous clip of me showing the RGB lights. Not sure what was going on there, but I think you got the picture of uh, what it looked like. So, let's get to the mouse. Let's keep the theme going for this video and uh, play some Destiny and talk about this mouse. Um, first thing off, it is 18,000 CPI. It is 85 grams, so it's not it's not advertising as a lightweight mouse. It's pretty much just middle of the pack, very comparable to most mice. This mouse is very comfortable to use. Uh, my hand fits around it perfectly, except for on my thumb, there's the button right at the tip. It's a little awkward to push just how it's designed, um, or maybe my thumb is designed poorly and it's too small, but either or, I, I don't use that button at all. Besides that, I really like it. The plastic that the mouse is made out of has a nice... It's not smooth. It has like a very slight rough texture, which I really like. I really like that a lot. I like the RGB lights on the mouse a lot. I think they fit the Destiny theme perfectly. When you push on the uh, CPI button to change your sensitivity, the colors on the mouse change to match which sensitivity you're picking, and then it goes back to the normal uh, rainbow effects. Which is pretty cool though, so you can uh, know which color fits your liking um, for the sensitivity and just match it up. I like that a lot. My overall opinion on the mouse and gaming surface are pretty good. I like them both a lot. I think the gaming surface uh, was really well designed and it was pretty cool looking. I liked all the lights that went around it. The mouse itself. I felt very comfortable. I liked the texture of it. I liked the RGB lights. I think that having the um, extra buttons on the side were pretty cool. I don't think it's something that I would utilize. At least not all the buttons. Um, just how my hand is designed. <laughs> I couldn't push the farthest one away um, without, you know, moving my hand in a weird direction. But besides that, it was very comfortable and I liked it a lot. Thank you everyone for tuning in and watching this video. If you wouldn't mind subscribing and throwing a like for this video, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'll let the, this Destiny clip play, it, uh, play itself out. And you guys have a good rest of your day. Thank you. Get me to that console. I'll activate the lift. Lift is active.